Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add payments methods to Canva websites in 2024. So in this video, we'll guide you through the steps to integrate your payments method so your customers can make purchases directly from your Canva website. So to add them, make sure to follow this step-by-step -step guide to show you how to add your payments methods. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to set up a Canva website if you don't have one already. To do so, go and open a browser. Uh, of course, go to the CRL section. For me here, I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. So once you open it, go to the CRL section, type canva.com, hit the enter button, and this should take you to the website. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll be taken basically to the same page. But here you'll find a set of my icon or your profile. You'll find a login option. So if you have an account, click on it and make sure to log in. And if you don't have an account, click on sign up to create an account. As you can see, you can use an Apple account, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, or Cleaver if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. So once you're logged in or just created your account, you'll find yourself on this page. First of all, if you don't have a website, you'll need to go to the top right corner, create a design, type here website, and, and click on that button. Of course, you can start creating here your website, the pages of your website. You can simply start from scratch or from the beginning, or if you are, as example, if you don't want to do that, you're not good at design, you can simply use one of the templates that's already available in here. As you can see, a lot of templates available. So use whatever suits you. Of course, uh, for me, I'm not going to do this. So I'm already like have, having a website for you. Make sure to create whatever you want and design your website however you want. Make sure to make a change on the text, colors, until it's match your brand or your need. And of course, ensure that you have a, an option or a section for products or services that you want or that you plan to sell. Like for example, this one. For me, I have here, so I'll just go and click on edit. As you can see, I have a section for it. As you can see, like bad color and extra, I did not put effort. Uh, or efforts, for example, uh, to fix that, for example, or to make it look good or something like that. I just put some random stuff. So yeah, I'll just put something like that, maybe. So yeah, I did not like make some efforts trying to uh, create that, as example. And I just add some random images here. I did not even add a name. Of course, not even lining uh, like good with the others. Yeah, this should be good now. As example here, yeah, I'll just try to line it with this and the same will be for this i'll try to line it here yeah i'm just do, doing this and this should be good and even this buy button example this is the only button that i have it's taken me to my e-commerce platform as an example of course for you if you didn't design this already i've already made a video about it about how to add products to your canva website you can simply go and check it out and of course and now we would like to add the payments method to that. So we will need, first of all, to design your payments button within your Canva website. Of course, you can create a buy now button like this one or pay now button. And you can, of course, do this using some Canva elements and text tools. Design a button that sends out and clearly indicates it for making a purchase. And place, of course, this button near your product listing or service description like this one. Of course, how to create it, basically what I did is go into this element. So I'll show you how to create this example. So all I did is simply, cho I choose this example here, yeah. And I make it first of all, like smaller. Of course, you can like go and choose whatever suits you. Maybe as an example, you didn't like one. This one, of course, you can choose this one uh, instead. So you can simply just do it, type whatever you want, like buy now or pay like now. And yeah, other than that, once you have it, just put it wherever you want. Click on this three dots and here you'll have first of all to add the link. First of all, of course, you'll need to choose a payments provider. Like a payments provider, of course, uh, you will need it to process like the transaction. Some popular options it will include like PayPal, Stripe, and Square. Create an account within your chosen provider, whatever you want. You want PayPal, go with it. You want Stripe, go with it. You want Square, go with it. You want other options, go with it. It's totally up to you now. And then you'll have to go and create your account in the chosen provider. And if you don't have one already, of course, you can follow the setup instructions to configure your account and obtain the necessary payment link or button code. As an example here, I'll just go and use PayPal as an example. So, of course, the language problem here, I'll just go and remove even this. So they'll take me guess, to the English. Okay, never mind. So I'll just scroll down here and click on English. So yeah, I'll just go here and click on login to log into my accounts. As simple as that, of course. Click on login. 
and this should log me into my PayPal account. Of course, I'll just go and do it get through Gmail and I'll go to my email account or email provider, which is this one as example, and they should send me a code right away. Of course, you can always just check more and check all mails, check spam mails just in case as example. So as example for me, they send me PayPal. Let me just check again. Okay, yeah, they check. They send it even here. So here's your code and 0893 and 04. So 0893 and 04. Click on submit and close this. And as you can see, I should be all good. So once this opens my account as example, here, let's say I want to send money to my PayPal account. So if I go here and click on send money as example, of course, that's if I want to send, I want to like an example, request money or something like that. I can go here and request money from a person, but not that. That's not what we want. We want to actually to create a payment link or button code. So how to do it basically on PayPal or wherever your payment provider you choose. I don't know exactly how to do it. So I'll just choose help here or use help. Uh, so an example and type like here, uh, payment as example, uh, code or link as example. I'll just start with link. Because we want the link first of all or code or something like that yeah creates oh, first like creates because we don't have one as example so create a payment like so example how to add a paypal button on facebook or something like that yeah this should good this example should be good because i think it's in facebook yeah paypal buttons okay that's good okay yeah that, that's something that exists of course yeah so here's an example uh make it easy to buy or more of a single item sure i'll just go and click on add now here as you can see you'll have to fill up this form so let's customers quickly buy with a single of course item you can create a different button if you don't want this and you can allow customers to enter their own uh, products price or their own products price or allow my customers to enter their uh, their own products uh, quantity whatever they want if you want them to uh, to put it if you want to have that both make sure to put it both of course this is an example if you have if you have just one like uh, products in here just put this don't allow this and put a price like twenty dollars something like that and the same will be for quantity if you if they're gonna buy it just once don't put this and mm, just let it one but if you want them to choose uh, between different products and etc but it's not like ideal so make sure to do not have it if you have multiple products here again after that of course you'll have to choose like the button size should be large small whatever you want an example then buy now or pay now whatever suits you then once you enter all of that click on save and can create a button of course for me i'll have to add whatever i want once i create the button they will give me a code uh, of course they'll generate a code or they can even give me an email link so i can just go and copy that link come here click on this three uh, click on it click on three dots click on link paste that link there click on done click on preview and people now when they click on that link basically you basically add your paypal as a payment provider so people will click on it uh, they will be taken as example here of course like for me so i'll just go and open it with a price uh, window and they'll basically just tell me to log in into my account to pay the 20 bucks that they put of course, you can do that with all payments providers that you have. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.